The readings today on this Christmas Eve speak about Jesus coming to set us free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us. Set us free from sin. He comes to shine on us and to guide our feet into the way of peace, into the way of peace. We think of the coming of the Christ child, we think of peace. He embodies peace, and if we have Jesus, we have peace. If we don't have our Lord, we don't have peace. If we have sin, we have strife and discontent and unhappiness. And Jesus came to set us free from sin, to set us free and to give us peace. And we want to live, uh, we want to be guided by Jesus, guided by peace. Just yesterday, Father Tito was giving us the analogy of confession being uh, like a GPS, always uh, guiding us, guiding us on the right path. And if we take the wrong way, it will be, um, confession will uh, uh, redirect us to, to the right path and to peace. A nice analogy for, for our life. We go to confession or we make an act of contrition. We are sorry for our, our sins and then we are back on the right path. And Jesus brings us that mercy, brings us that peace, brings us that hope to know that we can always be free from sin. We can always live in his, his peace. And the Christ child uh, represents that peace. He represents and embodies peace for us. And we can always be at peace. All we have to do is, if we have committed sin, we, we get down on our knees and we, can, we are contrite, we are sorry. We know we will sin in the future, hopefully only venial sins and hopefully even semi-voluntary venial sins. We want to diminish sin in our life and increase God's grace, increase his peace in our heart. And that is what Jesus brings us. He brings us peace and he sets us free. This is the Christmas message for us and we are hoping for that. We are, we are longing for that um, and we will have it. Uh, in his grace tomorrow and uh, so we we are full of thankfulness and we are full of commitment to live in his peace and to be guided by his way his his uh, doctrines his teachings and his himself guided by Jesus himself so we uh, we thank God for all he has given to us especially in in his coming at Christmas oh.